let's let's watch this rings routine and then we'll kind of um you know break it down and, and go through it and uh and just talk about the same you know same things how do we get to the start value and and then uh and then where are our deductions so let me can i can i blow this up whoops okay <clears throat> And I'm not, I mean, it's on Ryan's computer, but it's on Wi-Fi. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too choppy for you. <clears throat> All right, but here we go. All right, so, um, well, let me give let me give people a minute to walk through that on their own <clears throat> first of all, and then we'll then we'll talk about it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the routine again, and just walk walk through the skills with everybody. Oops. All right, so he starts with that in locate right there, and he does a kip L. Does a shoulder stand and then lowers down to an L and then drops back just to an inverted hang and then dislocate, dislocate, pull. Oh. All right. So uh, that that slow uh, pull to an in locate is an A. The kip to L is a B. Shoulder stand is a non-diagram day. Then he's got an L, which is an A. Got a dislocate, which is an A. And then a second dislocate, right? Which is which is is nothing. Um, cannot repeat a skill for value. And then a full as the dismount. So element groups, right? He uh, he has all four element groups. He does a swinging skill. He does a swing to strength. 
he does a static strength and he does a B dismount, the full, right? So the in locate, I counted as his swinging skill. The kip L was the swing to strength. And then the L was the static strength. And then again, the full, he does a B dismount. So element groups 2.0. All right, difficulty, the inlocate is an A. Oh, did I, did I go over that already? I think I did, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's got two Bs and then four A's. So that's 1.0 in difficulty. Did I miss anything? Uh, did he do a full twist? That's a 10th bonus. Yeah. So on high bar and rings, you get a one tenth bonus for doing a full. So difficulty is 1.1. So it's start value, right? Then should be um, 9.1. 9.1. Um, I have a quick question. So yes. I know rings has that weird rule with, or like the, the element of like the swing to hand. If you don't have that, that's a two tenth deduction, right? That is correct. So does that get taken out of the start value or does that come out of, um, of a different group? So all of all deductions are taken from the E score execution. So, okay. I was confused I, about that one. Cause I don't know if that's, that'd be part of the element groups or right no all all deductions in high school come out of the e score so you never okay. a, de a deduction is never re reflected in the start value okay thank you yeah you bet right but that's a good point right that so he doesn't do a swing hand so you have your deductions your execution deductions but you also have a medium two tenth deduction for no swing to handstand. All right, and then you know deductions wise, if if uh, if you want to walk through those. <laughs> see what I saw okay I mean does that slow roll to inlocate which is okay right so uh the kip to L right uh is to be done with straight arms so you notice there's an arm bend okay now you know we talk all the time well if you pause things and rewind or play them in slow motion it's easier to get more tense if you will but real time I took one on the arm bend on this Okay. So real time, I had one on the arm bend. And then he was kind of moving up and down a little bit in the L. So I had another 10th on the L for the moving, right? It was not um, still, if you will. Okay, shoulder stand, right? I had a 10th on his shoulder stand because he's well short of the shoulder stand position. Okay, shoulder stand, handstand position, right? Should be within that zero to 15 degrees. And you can see he's past 15 degrees there. Okay. Um, and then where are we at? What's the next? Oh, he lowers down to an L. Okay, right there, whoops. Okay, notice how high the L is, right? I took one tenth off on the L for being high. Okay, it's, it's, the angle's probably hard to tell, but I thought that's probably above 15 degrees if we're thinking of it in those terms, right? 
it's definitely not parallel with the ground. It's high. It's like one tenth on the L there. Okay. Dislocate is low. Okay, really good extension on, on the landing for the dismount. Okay, lands nice and tall, so I didn't have any deductions on the chest at all. Okay, but he does take that step. And actually now, look, I mean, I only had in real time, I only had one tenth off on the step. But now looking at it, that step is larger than shoulder width apart. So that should be a two tenth deduction on the step. So nine tenths off in deductions. which puts, puts his final score at an 8-2. May I say one thing? Please and do. This, I, I think it's important um, because it says it's supposed to be straight arms at all times. When he's coming down from that, going to the L that he dropped his legs on, his arms are bent on the way down. That should be pushed straight arm and then come down into the yell. If that was an FIG routine, that definitely would be a deduction for that uh, inability to keep the arm straight and then lower to it. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, you know, that's a great point. Really, right, when you're evaluating a routine and, and, uh, and, and just like um, if, if he if he were to pull if he were to pull to get to the inverted hang and bend his arms right that's a deduction it's the same thing right your arms are supposed to be kept straight at all times so there should have been a deduction for that as all as well uh, <laughs> don't we take off point two for no swing in handstand so one point one in deductions yeah no well so my point nine included the two tenths so i had two off on the kip l i had one on the shoulder stand one on the l one on the first dislocate and then two on the dismount for a total of seven plus two more for for the no swing hand so that was how i got to nine tenths Got it. Thanks, Frank. You bet. So if you're, if he has eight tenths or less in deductions, so in that instance, he wouldn't get a bonus tenth for having eight tenths less in deductions because he didn't do a swing to handstand, correct? Correct. Correct. So that two tenths is part of the deductions, right? So even if you only had seven off in execution, you've got two more and those are still deductions. So one note, uh, I wrote Kip L on my sheet, but then when I was going back to assign the, the letter values, I doubted myself. I was like, wait, was that a Kip L cross? Just because I'm used to seeing Kip crosses more often than Kip L support. And so like I actually added cross on my sheet and wrote it down as a C. And then I stopped myself and I thought like, but wait, what did he do after it? He did a, he did a shoulder stand, right? And I know for sure he didn't do a cross pullout. So even though I doubted myself, I was able to like reconstruct around my doubt based on the, the next skill that I wrote down. And that happens to me a lot, right? Where like, I doubt what I wrote on the sheet. And sometimes you can fix it by, you know, looking later on the sheet or, or you know, your memory. Um, but yeah, there are times where I just, I, I, I doubt myself. And, and if I can't, if I don't have any other uh, uh, tiebreaker, I just stick with what's on the sheet. So I don't know why I even wrote the, the L cross on my sheet tonight. I'm just, I'm out of practice. I'm forgetting my own uh, best practices. 
Yeah, yeah, that's. Remember, a use your your gymnastic senses a lot that you can count on too. Yeah, that's both of those are good points, right? We talked about at the clinic, you know, we talked about using gymnastic sense, which is what, you know, is what you want to do. And that's something in that situation that would be helpful, right? You know, if he did a shoulder stand, right, then, then you know that you were right in the, in the first thing that you wrote down. Yeah. Yeah. And then along, along the themes of just being, uh, like doing quick and dirty judging, uh, you know, as a first pass, like, Hey, what happens if you forget the one tenth of bonus on the full? It's a 10th, right? What happens if you, if you forget the two tenths deduction for no swing hand? Okay. It's a little bit bigger, but you know, it, it all gets washed out. Um, you know, I, I like, e even for me, like I find the minutia, of the rules very intimidating because I forget them as soon as the season's over I forget all of them and you know I think it, it takes me a couple meets to get back into that groove and to start remembering the fine details and you know if I'm going to be judging in big conference meets or sectionals or state I just have to make sure I get enough meets in so that I've, I've shaken off the rust and I can remember those details but like if you're looking at details like oh I didn't even think about the bonus Okay, I mean that's fine because it's easy to forget, but the consequences aren't that aren't that big. And chances are, if if you're at that level of judging where you're not that confident in things like these bonuses, you're not going to be put in the chair at a sectionals meet. <laughs> you know, your score is not going to determine if a kid makes it to the state meet or not, right? It's you're going to be filling in on a dual meet, and you're going to do your best, and that that's going to be good enough. Yeah, and and also to to to. To your point, Keith, um, you know, you might forget that no shoot hand is two tenths deduction, right? Um, but 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 then you remember what you want to do is keep yourself consistent, right? If you weren't taking it at the beginning, you don't want to then start taking that deduction in the middle, right? That becomes kind of I, I don't know, I'll say unfair for everybody else, right? You just you just don't take the deduction for that meet. And then you make a note to yourself. Oh, hey, this next meet, I have to remember no shoot hand is a two tenth deduction. Right. That way you're taking the same deductions for every gymnast that competes. You know, also, if you look at Keith's cheat sheet, which is pretty cool right there on that particular event, it's simple enough to make sure you put a little cheat note going minus two tenths for no hand. And I think that would just add to his program that you would help yourself out by possibly not forgetting what you're all concerned about that two tenths, because it's very easy to miss stuff like that. So your cheat sheet that you're already using, you know, elaborated on a little bit more, it's going to help you. And it's going to help what you just said too. all the other gymnasts you are now judging. Yeah. And, and actually, so I, I've got, I don't know if you can see my screen now, I do have the, the no swing hand minus two deduction under rings. Um, and when I sit down to judge rings, every time I pull out a new sheet, I circle that deduction because I always forget it. <laughs> and so, and, and I always hand out my judging sheets at the end of a meet. So if I'm on rings and my sheet has not circled this minus 0.2, look at my deductions and most likely I'll have forgotten to take it off, <laughs> right? So part of like my mental process when I'm judging rings First step, whenever I grab a brand new sheet, circle the minus two, because it's just, it's so easy to forget. Gymnastics judging is not easy. You have to be on your toes all the time because there's going to be a coach out there trying to get the benefit <laughs> of you and sneak something by you in a positive manner. <laughs> 